Hello guys, um, this is JJ from SS Gamers giving you another video. Um, this is an awesome tutorial on Minecraft that I've just made. Um, awesome build, and it's basically a way to protect your armor, your all important armor that you've got awesome enchantments on. You don't want anyone to come and steal, to take everything you've worked hard for, or just a creeper to come and blow up everything. Um, so it's just an awesome way to store your armor easy and efficient and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it but first let me quickly show you how it works and then we'll go on to build it so just coming up here click this lever you can see my armor up there can't be accessed by anyone and then all I do is push the button on the right no wrong one left I get confused and there you go it drops down I can easily access my armor take what I want put what I want back and when I'm done just shoot it back up slots into place and just close it and walk off and everything is secure no one will know it's there and everything can just be stored safely um, so I'm going to show you how this is built let me just go and find some space uh, behind the good old Moffoli board this is a nice bit of uh, green space over here so what you're going to need for this build is quite a few blocks of your choice as you saw it was quite big um, I'm going to try and work on a way to make it smaller and more compact, this is just my first version of it, I haven't seen anyone else do it, so I don't know if anyone else has made it smaller, but I'll work on that. I'm going to need a handful of repeaters, not many, just a couple, um, some redstone torches, um, you're going to need only a little bit of redstone, but you will need some, and sticky pistons, which aren't too hard to get anymore, There's um, because of the recent update, there are a lot more slimes that come out at night, which makes uh, getting... Uh, slime balls and sticky pistons a lot easier um, you're going to need some buttons as well and levers um, and of course the armor stand um, that is quite an important feature as this is what this is all about um, so I think that's all we need to start off with we can always grab some more stuff if we need um, and oh well this is not going to work without a good old slime block so you're going to need uh, more slime balls as well a um, couple of sticky pistons and a good old slime block. So we're going to start, dig down two, and place down your sticky piston with your slime block on top of that. And that is where your armor stand is going to go. Don't worry about placing that down right at the moment. Um, and then just dig two around, um, two around it so you form a big square with the, the slime block being in the middle. So it should look like that. Um, and then just fill in the top layer with your block of choice just so you can distinguish uh, where everything's going to be. Now when the slime block lifts up, it's going to lift up that block, that block, that block and that block, ooh, that one there, because um, it hooks onto anything, um, except for blocks like furnaces and stuff, but it would look ugly to make your floor out of the furnace, it would just look a bit ridiculous. Um, so we'll place down the two buttons we're going to be needing, and then we can link those on to everything that we're going to need. So we're obviously going to need to extend that sticky piston to push the armor stand up. Um, so in doing so, underneath whichever button you want, so for this one I'm going to do uh, do the right one. Um, I think it's just a bit easier. Place a piece of redstone right under it, so when you hit it, it powers that. You didn't see that. There you go. Um, and then you want it to link right into there. So if you place into the into the piston, so if you place a repeater and then just destroy the two blocks like so and connect it with some redstone you can see that when I hit the button it shoots up and as I've said before lifting up those blocks but that's not a problem for this build um, okay so we'll just place the armor stand down so we can get an idea of how high it goes so you can see how high it's filled and you can see it gets it quite high up which is quite good for our security Creepers explosions should be out of the way if they were to go off near this, um, and your armor will remain intact. So, we're going to be storing it that side. So, if we build up um, a bit, three, four, I'm going to go up about five, and um, you're going to want to place a sticky piston in line with this repeater so it's one in front of the armor stand. Um, so that's just going to go there. We can always adjust the height if it's uh, wrong after. Um, but you're also 
going to need to activate this via the same activation as when you shoot it up. So it all happens in one movement, so you don't have to like roast to get the right timing. So to do that, if you just break, break the block in front, and, uh, and this one too, we're just going to run a bit of redstone pop down a level, um, and just send that into a repeater um, that's going to go into a block with a torch on top. Um, and then we're going to stagger these up like so, just placing one block on top of the other, on top of the torch, and then another torch. This one will be lit, and the next one won't be, um, and so on. So on and so forth. Um, so we'll just do that. Looks quite high. Um, let me just see if we shoot that up. Um, yeah, that will probably be fine. Again, as I said before, we can probably change it. Um, you can try yours one block lower, one block higher. All depends on what you really want. Um, so, we need to connect the off torch to the piston so that when that turns on, it will shoot the piston out and then move the, the armor stand onto a, a block. Um, so we'll just connect that via just some redstone dust. We'll do the job nicely. I'm uh, going to have to extend it out so it can loop round. And you put it into a repeater or not, it doesn't really matter. Actually, yes it does. And you can just use a repeater there. Uh, into that. And we'll see if that gets the timing right. No. So, we might want to do that. Hold on. I'm just going to see what I've done down here. Um, I think we might just need to raise this all up one level. And that will probably work. So, if we just come here, move the repeater up one. Which means, sorry, you're going to have to re-stagger all of these. The first torch is going to be there. Um, and then the next torch there. And the next torch like so. There we have it. And we'll just need to move the sticky piston one higher, I think. So again, we'll just do what we did before and just put some redstone dust trailed along and we'll see if that works. There we have it. Now you can see that's landed on the block behind which means the sticky piston hit it in midair and pushed it back. So that is perfect. Um, so now what we need to do is get that to land on a block. So, um, oh it's not straight, there we go. Um, it's going to be pushed back if you think it's there. It's going to hit that block there. I think we can... No, we'll try that one. Ah, there we go. So it lands just on that block, parallel with this redstone dust. Um, pushed it right up here so it's safe and secure. So that is basically the first stage done, getting your, getting your armor up there and secure. And now the second half is just going to be getting it down so you can access it easily. Um, so of course that's going to need a sticky piston from the other side to push it um, and just let it come free down there and it will land exactly on this spot so you can just send it back up again. Um, also you can just destroy this stuff because that's not going to be there when you're doing it. So um, we've used the right side of that for this button for the activation and now we're going to need to use it the other side to get the uh, stuff down. So if you get a sticky piston, you're going to need a sticky piston and a block to push the armor stand. Um, so the block will be pushing there and if you just build back and place a sticky piston pushing right up against it, so that will push the block pushing the armor stand so it falls right down back there and it's just getting a bit dark, too dark to see. It looks like I'm knocking on heaven's door. So I'm just going to quickly sleep and I will be back in a jiffy. Right, so where were we? Oh, I had a bed anyway. 
Um, right, so we just put down the sticky piston. Now, uh, yeah, sticky piston. And we need to activate that in the same way we did so with uh, the staggered torch method. It's a really useful thing. You can do um, turns one off, turns one on. It's really useful for carrying a charge vertically up rather than making that weird staircase with a with a redstone. So if you just build under it like this so you have gaps, you can see where the redstone torch is going to go. One there, one there. Don't worry, you shouldn't have had your thing there. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. I don't think you can ever get it to go halfway across other than like that. Um, don't worry. Just leave the armor sand out of it for now and just keep your block there. Um, and then place another torch at the bottom like so. Um, but obviously we want that to be off when it when it starts, which means we just need to place a repeater. I uh, know we need we need one more torch underneath like that, and then we'll have a repeater going into that one, um, like so. And then we need to connect that from this button here on the left. So if we just come underneath and place some redstone dust there. Um, this bit's a bit confusing because we need to get it down a level um, and make the turn. So if you go under the original sticky piston in the middle and just do a little curve like that, if you can see. Um, why that's connecting with this one, I don't know. Um, ah, don't go underneath it. Just uh, just go forward and right and straight into that. That will turn off the torches and then turn on that one and then we'll push the armor stand back. So essentially, we're done. Um, yeah, pretty easy. Um, it looks quite small like this, but when you cover everything up, it's quite a big build. So if we just test it out, we'll shoot that up, secure our armor up there, and then just hit that, and it will push it right back down, landing on that same block. And that's it, you are done. You've got your nice armor secure vault, basically. Um, because you don't want anyone really to come and steal it um, after everything you've done. So it's quite an easy build, not much to it. Um, and it's just really useful for your world, whether it's single player, multiplayer, or whatever you're doing. Um, if you enjoyed this and found it useful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe below um, so you can see more of our stuff. Um, if you want to see anything else, any other tutorials you want to see, feel free just to comment below and we will try and do any of them. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.